Hello amazing people. Hi, I'm representing my group and today I will talk about our procedure study, case study and our client's profile. Our target client is Harith Iskandar, a very famous comedian and also an actor. Harith Iskandar or Harith Iskandar bin Musa, born on 7 of August 1966 in Hospital Johor Bahru. His father is Malaysian and his mother is a Scottish. His family moved to Kuala Lumpur when he was young. Obtained a degree in journalism in Curtin University, he finally began his career in the middle age of 20s. Iskandar has been a veteran in the Malaysian stand-up comedy as he started his career as a comedian in 1991. He started working with Linda Chong, a freelance producer by writing the script and direct sketches comedy. He joined Jangan Ketawa few years later and in 2016, he beat four other finalists to be named the funniest person in the world. He sees that the source of his jokes is his surrounding and it is also inspired by his late mother. Now, he is a husband to Dr. Jasmine, a father of two children, Zander and Zain Iskandar, and also runs his own company, VD Production, as he directs and writes film and TV production. Okay, now let's move on to the precedent studies. Based on our research about Harith's personality and interest, these are three emotions that suits him. With this information, we found three buildings that express each of the emotion. From the emotion piece, this is the Forest Bath Nagara Japan by Kyoto Ikuta and Katsuyuki Ozeki from Ozeki Architects and Associates. The Forest Bath has centralized organization, space within space relationship and it is made from concrete and wood. The courtyard of the Forest Bath House plays a big role in presenting the piece. It is because the courtyard communicates with the green forest outside, which the client requested a space where they can spend their free time without doing anything and expose their bodies into the woods. From the floor plan itself, you can see that the space may be contained within the volume of a larger space, which is space within a space. Next is I House by Architecture Shoe Company. The building expresses curiosity emotion and it is located at Sasebo, Japan. The building also has clustered organization, adjacent space relationship with reinforced concrete and wood as the building's material. The house has been designed to face the sea view, so there are no windows on the sides of the building. The only way for the guests to see the view is by entering it. Plus, each side of the building has their own different forms, meaning it doesn't look the same, which can boost the curiosity of the guests. The last one for inspiration, we have Agilent House, located at Austin, United States. The architect is Barry Chan Studio. The house has cluster organization, spaces linked by a common space as a space relationship, and the materials are glass and concrete. The design itself is inspired by one of the oldest housing typology in North America called Pit House, but with the mixed accent of modern and old houses, indirectly it resembles Harris in his comedy field because he always mixes his comedy with local and international content to deliver his jokes. So for case study, we decided to study about wood, space and the colour. Firstly, for wood, we all know wood is a versatile and cost-effective material used in a huge variety of applications and situations. There are a number of benefits to using wood in architecture, and so there are many different varieties of the material used in many structures. And today we are going to discuss about timber, cedar, pine, and oak. Timber is a durable and hard-wearing wood which is easy to work with. While cedar is a dense and lightweight wood which is resistant to decay. While pine is an attractive wood which is also inexpensive. Oak is a durable wood which is resistant to insects damage. If you ever thought why we choose wood as the material, wood has a lot of benefits. One of the benefits is wood is a renewable material that uses less energy and resources to process compared to many other building materials. Wood is also strong. It can actually be better at supporting its own weight than other materials such as steel. Besides that, wood also is efficient. It is an excellent insulator and it can build faster than many other materials. Last but not least, it is good for health and the body. 
It helps us to reconnect us to nature and also reduce stress. The timber construction have an inherent level of fire resistance. This resistance increases with the thickness of the wooden elements because when timber is exposed to the fire, the outer layer can ignite but turns to char. Last but not least, we choose timber as the material of the wood because it is a durable and hard-wearing wood and also it is suitable to build a house for Harit Iskandar. For the second case study, we study about space. It is important to adjust the space in a room because it will have a huge effect in our comfortability. The selection of color schemes that will allow to easily transform a room no matter how cramped it might seem at the moment. This thing might be useful to help the client, which is Harith Iskanda, to choose how the rooms will look like. In a bright environment, a colored floor helps to push the walls further apart and make the room look visually taller and wider. Opting for a bright and saturated color not just for the floor but for the ceiling as well will help create the impression of white environment. Choosing the same color for the rear wall and the floor will make the room seem airy. Using the same color scheme for the rear wall and the ceiling also makes the room appear wider but visually reduces its depth. Another way to push the side walls wider apart is to reduce the depth of the room. This can be achieved by using a bright color to highlight the rear wall. Conversely, you can reduce the width and increase the depth by using a saturated color to highlight the room's side wall. If you have low shillings, you can remedy the situation by choosing bright, saturated colors for the room side and rear walls. To make your room seem more airy, use light colored wallpaper with a small pattern design. In some rooms, the shillings might seem too high. Horizontal stripes will make your shilling appear lower while slightly reducing the room's depth. It seems like Harit really likes the bright colors such as red and yellow to be implemented on his house. Using these techniques and tips, the bright colors can enhance a bigger space on his house. On the last case study, I will explain about the study of colors. Let's start with the primary colors, which is red, yellow and blue. The three secondary colors, which is green, orange and purple, are created by mixing two primary colors. Another six tertiary colors are created by mixing primary and secondary colors. Now let's move on to the basic techniques for creating color schemes, which is the color harmonies. It has six types. It starts with monochromatic, which is a pair shade of the same color. Analog, they usually match well and create serene and comfortable design. Complementary colors are actually the opposite colors of each other. Split complementary, this color scheme has a strong visual contrast. If we are feeling overly stressed, we can use color as a stress management tool. As for Harith's situation, he need to really stress when he came back home. So we decided to implement relaxing colors to our design later. The first relaxing color is blue. This color stands true to its appearance, peaceful, calm and gentle. Blue has tremendous power to manage stress. About green, it symbolizes nature. It attracts harmonious feelings that can diffuse anxiety and helps us to stay refreshed. The last one is white. White shows clarity and freshness. It also the, the right color to be surrounded with in times of stress. That's all from us. Before we end, here are the members of the group. Thank you.